Welcome back to another episode of Helix Amps Revisited, where I go back and take a look at some of the amps that I've dialed in in the past and give you a free preset, which will be available down at the link below through my website. This preset is going to be a little sample, let's say, maybe not tweaked quite as finely as the Matchstick Ultimate preset that I have available for the Line 6 Helix up on Line 6 Marketplace. The Matchstick Ultimate is both channels of the Matchstick amps that we have inside of the Helix. What amp model is this? Well, this is a model of the Matchless DC30. One of, in my opinion, the finest amps that was ever made. It sounds absolutely spectacular, and I think you're going to like this a lot. If you like what you hear, in this video, please go to my website, download the free preset. If you like what you hear there, there will be a link below to the full featured version, multi snapshot, tons of effects dialed in just perfectly for live or for studio. And I think you'll really like it. It's one of my favorite presets. But without further ado, let's dive over to HX Edit and take a look and see what we can do today and get this amp model sounding just right. All right, so I've dialed in this little preset here quite nicely, very simple, five blocks. This will be compatible with HX Stomp or with the Helix. The full-blown Line 6 Marketplace Matchstick Ultimate, though, will only be compatible with the Helix, not the HX Stomp. So starting at the end of the chain, like usual, I have my LA Studio Comp. I add this in just for a little bit of glue. It just makes things sound a little more polished, in my opinion. It's actually doing very little, very tiny, tiny bit of compression, maybe a dB to a dB and a half of gain reduction. Coming over to the reverb, I chose the Hall Reverb with a decay of three, a pre-delay of 60 milliseconds, and a mix of 30%. I have a low and high shelf with the low and high frequency set at 650 hertz, all the frequencies below 650, reduced by 2 dB and all the frequencies above, boosted by 2 dB. I really like that setting for a lot of amplifiers. The cab is actually the 110 US Princess cab of the new 3.5 cabs. I might surprise a lot of people. I really liked the way that this cab sounded with this particular amp model. I chose the 160 ribbon, 1.5 inches back, on the cap edge with the mic angled at 45 degrees, the low cut at 100 hertz, and the high cut surprisingly up at 5 kilohertz. A pretty dramatic setting there, but something that I really liked for this. Here's the amp. We have the Matchstick Channel 1 with Channel 1 Drive at 2.5, the bass at 5, the cut at 0, the treble at 5, presence at 1, channel volumes at 8.2, and masters up on 10, sag, hum, ripple, bias, bias X, all at their standard 5 settings. So let's come in here. We will turn off any of the sweetening I put in here, just the amp model, with this cab that I chose. <laughs> Right, so not bad. Maybe lacking just a touch of sparkle, and that could have to do with how I dialed back this high cut, but I wanted to add that back in just to get the right balance and control a little bit of the lower mids and lows with this low and high shelf EQ and add just a little sparkle back in here with the high shelf to counteract the fact that I'm using a ribbon mic. So without this, it sounds like this. Here's some of that muddiness in the low mids. That just takes care of that and adds a little bit of that sparkle back into it that's gonna help it just work really beautifully in a mix. Right, moving on, let's add in our reverb here. Doing what reverb should do. Adds kind of a nice depth to the sound. I didn't want the reverb to just walk all over the tone, so I set the pre-delay pretty high at 60 milliseconds. You can obviously adjust this to your taste. I'm on the neck pickup of my Vigier Expert Strat style guitar. If I go to the bridge pickup. <laughs> 
still works really nicely. That would really cut beautifully in a mix. But I'm really loving it on that neck pickup too. Middle position. So really nice stuff. Let's see what that compressor does. It's gonna be very subtle. I think you'll agree that tone works really, really nicely. All right, so there you have the basic free tone. Again, that is available at my website at a link below. Grab that, tweak it however you want, and I hope you enjoy that. But if you want to hear the full featured Matchstick Ultimate preset, which features both the Channel 1 and Channel 2 models, a full array of effects dialed in just perfectly, and it's one of my presets to use for sessions and even for certain live gigs. Here is a demo of what that full featured preset sounds like. I hope you guys enjoyed that. What did you think? I really, really enjoyed making that demo and I enjoyed dialing this sound in for you guys to have also. Again, the links are below both for the full featured marketplace preset, the Matchstick Ultimate for Helix only. And then also there's a free preset below at my website that is going to work with Helix and HX Stomp. And while you're there, take a look around and see what else I have up on my website. Maybe there is something else there that interests you. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you spending your time with me. Please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. And also please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.